So welcome everyone. Uh, we'll talk about uh, a very interesting topic uh, today. And in fact, it will continue for some week, a uh, couple of weeks, which is, uh, you may have heard about the code uh, 369. And uh, it is also known as Tesla code. Tesla means the real Nikola uh, Tesla, uh, not about the current famous person, which is Elon Musk, not about him, but more about uh, Nikola Tesla, which uh, a very mysterious uh, uh, man kind of uh, associated with a lot of these uh, numbers, facts, figures, and uh, you know, the magnificent 369, uh, you may have heard about the theory uh, of Tesla, known as Tesla Code 369. And this is basically related to how he felt uh, these number 369s control the universe. Uh, this is something uh, what we call a mystery because it is said that he had some notes, some documents, which was uh, kind of taken away and uh, never to be seen again after uh, he passed away or, uh, you know, whatever the, whether it's conspiracy theory or whether it is a, uh, uh, a fact, uh, but the that we can't say, but what we can say, yes, there is some truth behind it and you experience and then you decide if it works for you or not. But understanding how uh, the universe, you know, the mystery of universe, they are so repeatable, they are so methodic, um, basically like, uh, you know, the pattern uh, represented uh, again and again. It is uh, methodological and uh, uh, the universe is talking to us. Its only question is, do we know how to decode the message or the language? Because obviously, universe does it talk to us in our language. So once you understand this whole uh, the mathematical thing, it becomes relatively easier. Uh, it the nature always follows geometrical patterns, symmetry, and all those things. So we will go through some details and then in the next session we will also talk about how we can use this phenomena in our affirmations in our day-to-day -day life uh, again this is uh, not like learning magic but this is understanding the beauty and the power of universe so if you take you know digital roots uh, and say you take uh, the numbers and you double the number so what you will see is uh, the pattern. And uh, the pattern means uh, if you see that, okay, uh, what's happening uh, when we are talking about uh, kind of uh, digital roots in the sense uh, or halving the number or different ways we will uh, look into that. So you just uh, uh, take the number, uh, add them up, uh, so you go to, uh, you know, as soon as you get the double digit number, you add them up, uh, you get uh, three digit numbers, you again add them up and you will see a pattern. The pattern, you will see that uh, one, two, four, eight, seven, five, one, two, four, eight, seven, five, you know, it goes on, on and on as you double the number. So one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, you know, like that you keep doubling the number and then you keep adding the digits. That's, uh, that's what you do. And as you keep doing this, the pattern will repeat. One, two, four, eight, seven, five, one, two, four, eight, seven, five. And what you see here is what is missing. You get one, two, but you don't get three. You get uh, four, five, but you miss six. You get seven, eight, you miss nine. And again, it starts from one. So you see one, two, four, five, seven, eight is repeating, but what no, what is not coming here is three, six, and nine. So again, uh, is this uh, mean and like, does it mean anything? Is it a coincidence? So there are different ways one can look at uh, different uh, things. And then instead of doubling, if you half the number, then what? So you start again with one and then keep halving it. So 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and so on and so forth. And again, you see that 
the pattern of one, two, four, five, seven, eight is repeating. Again, we are missing three, six, and nine. Now, missing three, six, and nine, is it of any significance? Well, three, six, nine, these are the numbers that is said to be, it belongs to a higher dimension world. Uh, higher dimensional world is again mysteries, again a matter of, you know, personal belief or not, or what you have trust in or not. But uh, this is how these number gets power, uh, kind of, um, you know, the average of the normal numbers, which is uh, what you see the repeating here, one, two, four, five, seven, eight, and three, six, nine, they belong, uh, you can say to the higher level of power, uh, that's what we call higher dimensional output. So if you start with three, and uh, then you start doubling the number. So you get 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96, so on and so forth. Then you see that as you are adding them up, because at the moment they become double digit, you add the digits. And then you see the number repeats is 366, 366, 366. So not with one where the numbering, our numbering starts, but when you go for three, then what you get is three six three six three six. So three six was missing in the original case where it starts when we went one two four eight, and now you are repeating three six three six three six. So you see, if you do the same way, you half the number. That means you start with three, and then half means one point five, point seven five, and so on and so forth. Then again, you are getting three, six, three, six, three, six. All you are doing is adding those digits. So if you add 0 0.75, seven and five is 12, one and two, again, you add one and two, it becomes three. So you keep adding until you get a single digit. And then what the digit you get is three, six, three, six, three, six, like one, eight, seven, five. So again, uh, similarly, uh, you get a, uh, uh, kind of 12 and then add one, two, it becomes three. So this way you will see this pattern, which is repeating. So it doesn't matter you are doubling or you half starting with three, you get the same results. That means you get three and six only. So we saw one, two, you know, four, five, and then uh, seven, eight. Now we see three, six, three, six, three, six. Again, what is missing is still number nine. So question comes, which number is controlling which? So you see number three on one side controls one, two, and four. Number six on the other side controls five, seven, and eight. So you have one side and you have the other side. That's why we say higher dimensional because three in a way has higher power than one to four, six is having higher than five, seven, eight. Now let's change rather than three and let's start with number nine. So what happens? You start with nine, doubling it up. So nine, double is 18, 36, 72, 144, and so on and so forth. And now you add those digit, make it single digit. Whether it's double digit like 18, you add one and eight becomes nine, whether it is triple digit 144, one plus four plus four, again, you get nine. 288, you add them up, 288, you get 18, 18 because it is double digit, again you add 1 plus 8, it becomes 9. So you see, you are getting only 9, not a sequence or anything, but purely 9 only. So if you take this in half, like we did it in another case, 
you take start with nine, half is 4.5, again you have 2.25, then 1.125 and so on and so forth, you keep going down. We do the same thing, if it is double digit, don't worry about the decimal, add them up. So 4.5 means four and five, which is nine. Triple digit, 2.25, so two plus two plus five, again nine, and so on and so forth. So you get only nine as the single digit because here we are starting with a uh, starting with number nine. Now, question comes that how powerful is number nine? Again, we were talking about the universe. We were talking about how it is symmetrical. There is a methodology which is in place when you you know think about the universe, its pattern. Uh, it's not random, means coincidence that these are happening. And this is not just in one phenomena or you know one place that you see, you see it a lot of places. For example, you take a circle, Y circle, like all the planets. There is a reason they are circular in shape. Uh, and then if you add those degrees, it's again come down to nine, but the 360, 180, 90, 45, you know, on any quadrant, uh, if you see uh, all four quadrant, doesn't matter which way you look, look into, uh, it comes as nine. If you see the other, uh, you know, the shapes that we see, uh, the common ones, very common that you keep uh, in, you know, uh, experiencing in the universe. So you, whether it's a triangle, whether it's a rectangle, pentagon, hexagon, doesn't matter. Uh, so your degrees will keep changing as the shape changes. But when you keep adding the degrees, and degrees means total number of degrees inside uh, that particular shape. Triangle has three sides. Uh, all the three angles, if you add, it comes to 180. Doesn't matter what shape of triangle it may be. Similarly, rectangle will have 360. So just add 3 plus 6 plus 0 or 1 plus 8 plus 0. And again, you get the number 9. So number 9 is kind of present, uh, and, you know, all over the place from singularity to infinity of space. Uh, infinite side polygon when we look at, right? Because here we are going from triangle to octagon. And as the number of side is increasing from three to four, five, six, seven, eight, and you keep increasing, you continue, right? So what will happen? As your number of side become infinite, the shape becomes circle. And that's what we saw before when we talk about circle. Uh, whether you take only one quadrant or two, it means 45 degrees, 90, 180, 360, uh, we get the same number nine as the sub single digit. And that's what it means that from, you know, singularity to infinity, right of space, uh, this number nine has its presence. Now, in our, at least in our universe, sun is the uh, key source of energy. And if you look at the sun and the diameter of the sun, again, with respect to miles, uh, you end up with, again, number nine. Uh, at least for planet Earth, uh, important thing is the uh, sun and then obviously the Earth itself. And if we see the diameter of Earth, again, it comes down to nine, which is 7920. And Another thing which is critical for us, which influences us, uh, you know, every day is moon. And if we look at uh, the moon data, then again, it comes down to number nine. So you see, it doesn't matter uh, which uh, important phenomena that uh, we look at, uh, we end up the same kind of reflection. Uh, of course, sun is important to us. If you see the uh, speed of light and then uh, you know you add them up with respect to speed in miles per second and again it comes down to number nine now yeah, of course these are uh, key examples of what is the most important thing for the life uh, on planet earth 
and you see everywhere it is kind of uh, showing us some pattern, some symmetry, geometry, you know, those kind of things. If we look with relationship with time, okay, uh, again, whether you look uh, what we do, we can use, uh, you know, second, minute, hour, those kind of units uh, you know, in our day-to-day -day life. And uh, if you add them up, the number of seconds that you have, again, it comes down to number nine. Uh, whether it's hour, whether it's a day, uh, it comes down the same way. Now, okay, this is something that kind of humans have created, right? The second hour, we decided. What about the frequency of Earth? Frequency of the universe? I mean, that we did not decide. We did not decide that, okay, Earth will have this frequency. This 432 hertz is given. So when you see 432, which is the planet, not something we did, again, it comes down to nine. So number nine, you see that uh, is uh, present uh, everywhere kind of thing and uh, also controls it. And that, of course, that's the reason of the power or presence. And uh, you may have seen uh, many, many places, uh, you know, uh, the frequency of ohm is also considered 432 hertz, like what we are talking about frequency of earth. That's why the chanting of ohm is so popular, so powerful because it matches the frequency of Earth, frequency of what we call the universe. And uh, this is something uh, also same as uh, number 108. We have uh, talked about uh, once before that how 108 keeps repeating. Why, why you know, uh, if you talk of Japmala, there are 108 beads and this 108 number uh, does repeat. And if you add 108, it again comes down to 9. So number 9 is same as uh, number 0 in some sense. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the fact or the impact, uh, it comes down to that 9 is everything and 9 is nothing. And that's what, uh, in a way, it is represented by uh, 9 and 0, the value, the impact because zero means nothing, and of course, nine is the number highest in our uh, number game, and, you know, the, with respect to power, with respect to impact, that's what you see, that uh, if you are uh, changing number zero by nine, there is no change in the digital root of the number, so if it is 708, you change it to 798, and again, the, uh, the digital root still remains six uh, in this case. So if not only uh, when you are adding them up, you multiply any number by zero, of course, it becomes zero. You multiply any number by nine, the digital root is still remains nine. So you have uh, three, four, five, four, six, five, eight, seven, five, any example, of course, if you multiply it by zero, it becomes zero, that's clear. Uh, it's a no-brainer. But uh, if you, uh, you know, uh, multiply it by 9, uh, whatever the number you get, uh, in this case, 345 becomes 3105. You add them up, it's still 9. Originally, 345, if you add uh, 3 plus 4 plus 5, uh, then it becomes uh, 12. And 1 plus 2, or uh, you know that kind of uh, same phenomena if you add here so here 345 by 9 when you do uh, 3105 so uh, when you add uh, 3105 becomes 9 or 465 by 9 or any number so this is a phenomenon that is uh, a reflection of uh, you know the impact it has uh, around us and uh, what you have is uh, you keep uh, adding the digital root, uh, you still get uh, the same kind of result. Now, next session, uh, we will talk about uh, how we can uh, use this in our affirmation, how you can increase the power of affirmation. And uh, this is something that uh, you know, we use uh, 
this phenomenon, the 369, and what is called as Tesla code, that how number three and six, they are more powerful than as we saw the left side, the right side. Uh, that means, uh, you know, you have one, two, and uh, four, uh, and uh, five. So three is kind of controlling them. And when you go to the other side, which is uh, uh, where you get those uh, five, seven, uh, and all uh, from, so uh, five, seven, eight, and uh, the, the side is controlled by six, nine to nine. So that's something you have on kind of two sides, nine on the top, because nine is controlling both. And the left side controlled by three, the right side controlled by six, and both the sides controlled by nine. Now, the question comes that, uh, how can we use this? Uh, in, in, you know, in our sadhana, in our meditation, or in our uh, yoga, or pranayam, whatever you, you may be doing it, and uh, how to understand this code that it can benefit humanity, benefit uh, us. And this is uh, some simple tools that you may use. Uh, to be more effective in whatever you do uh, in whatever you want to kind of you know achieve because there's no right or wrong your affirmation is your affirmation whether you're working on your know, spirituality music sports studies uh, doesn't matter you can use this for your benefit so masters uh, we will continue uh, next week uh, talking about some more facts about uh, tesla 369 code, how we can use, including uh, that, how we can use it in our day-to-day -day life. Okay. If you have any question, we'll take it from here.